spirit. In the quest to ensure the safety of loved ones, many turn to surveillance. Cameras discreetly installed in rooms offer that peace of mind. But every so often, the lens captures more than just innocent play. It unveils an unsettling presence that was meant to remain hidden. This footage, shared on the subreddit Ghosts by user DJ Migs one depicts his nieces in a light-hearted moment until the unexpected occurs. At first, everything looks perfectly normal, but then, out of nowhere, a mysterious white thing zooms past. But what is it? Reddit users were left stunned at this clip, with many believing it to be a ghost. And the original uploader says that this is, quote, a spirit running past his niece. But what do you think? Ghost caught on camera or something else? Let me know down below. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. The Figure This video comes from the ghost hunting channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. In the video, the ghost hunters visit the old rectory school which was built next to a church in the early 1800s. The school has been abandoned for some time and many believe it to be haunted by shadow figures. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations start their ghost hunt by taking turns asking several questions. However, when it's Mark's turn, this happens. What was that noise? It might have been me moving. No. Let me check the static, static cam. Uh, we've been having all sorts of um, weird issues today. Now it may be down to the cold because it's extremely cold here. It's probably minus two or three. But camera problems. What's in there? Phil, Phil, wait, 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 Phil, Phil, wait, wait. Now, either someone's wandered in or there's someone wearing a black cloak. That's what we saw in there. And standing just round there. Like an old teacher, you know the cloaks the old teachers used to wear? That's what we saw by that classroom in there. Does you have a camera? I'm shaking. Maybe, you might have. Who is it? Jeff might have just seen. Are you one of the old teachers or the headmaster? Sorry, sorry. I can hear talking in there. I can hear talking in there. Please t tell me your name. Don't be scared. We're, we're not here to cause any harm. We're just interested and want to contact you. As the investigation unfolds, Jeff hears an unsettling sound, almost like their static cam powering down. Venturing to inspect the situation, he's met with a chilling sight. For a brief moment, the camera captures a shadowy figure draped in what appears to be a cape, eerily reminiscent of the attire teachers wore at this very school in the late 1800s. Throughout their paranormal investigation at this haunted building, mysterious voices and and inexplicable noises accompany them at every turn. Yet, it wasn't until they reviewed the footage back home that the true extent of their paranormal encounter became heart-stoppingly clear. When we were leaving the building, I took several photographs from outside and during the production of this episode, one of the pictures revealed a shadow figure which seemed to be watching us from within the doorway to the building.
captured on camera as the ghost hunters make their exit. A shadow figure looms in a doorway, seemingly observing them from the depths of the shadows of this abandoned school. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations viewers were glued to their screens during their ghost hunt at the old rectory school. The prevailing theory that these ominous dark figures are none other than the spirits of former teachers still tethered to the building. Many viewers echo Mrs. Lynn B's comment, asserting that these guys are the real deal, no fakery. But as always, the interpretation rests with you. Could Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations have truly captured the ethereal presence of a former teacher still haunting the corridors of this abandoned school? Share your thoughts below. The Toys Turn this next creepy clip was uploaded to YouTube by Sherry Shoon. While many might brush off an irrational fear of dolls, a surprising number of adults harbour a genuine dread of these inanimate figures. This video might make even sceptics question the true nature of dolls. As Sherry pans the camera across a room filled with seemingly innocent dolls, watch closely. One doll appears to defy logic, moving its arm all on its own. Even Sherry, behind the lens, seems momentarily stunned by the unexpected motion. This creepy video uploaded by Sherry over eight years ago has left viewers creeped out, with many believing that this doll is haunted. But what do you think? Was this a mere trick of the light, a malfunctioning toy, or could there be something otherworldly at play? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. The Graveyard Gaze this next creepy snapshot comes from a location known to many as a paranormal hotspot. Graveyards have long been associated with ghostly activity, and this one in mid-coast New South Wales is no exception. Captured a few years back by Mel Taylor using her Samsung S7, she confidently noted if a spirit wants to show themselves, they will. At first, a photo presents itself as a serene snapshot of a graveyard, a quiet monument captured in time. But as the eye delves deeper into the image, mysteries begin to unravel. Prominently in the centre, there's an almost ethereal silhouette. A translucent figure that's hard to dismiss as mere coincidence. And, as viewers have pointed out, there may be even more lurking in the background. The debate on Facebook was passionate. The majority of users ardently believe in this photo's authenticity, claiming they can see multiple spirits. However, skeptics argue it could be an optical illusion, a phenomenon known as pareidolia, where the mind perceives familiar shapes where none exist. Exist. So, where do you stand in this debate? Are we looking at genuine spectral manifestations? Or is it simply our minds playing tricks on us? I'd love to hear your perspective. Dive into the discussions below. The Being Camping often brings us closer to nature's mysteries, some of which remain concealed in the shadows of dense woods, waiting to be discovered. Uploaded over 15 years ago, this next video continues to stir debates amongst viewers, many of whom are convinced it showcases an authentic supernatural encounter. While camping in Flassy, France, an area known for its old forests and local legends, a group of friends captured something unexpected on camera. Vous avez vu un truc encore bouger Bon, toi là. Il y a un truc là-bas Il y a un truc derrière là. Minou, 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 j'ai trouvé ta mère. Putain Putain. Il est mignon le chat. Ouais, il est un peu gros le chat, j'aime pas ça. Je vais me barrer. Oh, non Bah y'a un... 
Bon, c'est d'office de viol. Pour éclairer, putain As the friends gathered around the warm campfire, engrossed in conversation, an unusual sound from behind interrupts them. Drawn to a tree, they notice a subtle movement in the darkness, but then when they throw a burning stick towards it, the captured footage is both bewildering and chilling. What appears to be some sort of humanoid figure, distinguished by its elongated nose and oversized hands, can be seen peeking out from behind a tree. Intriguingly, while it seemed captivated by the flames, it maintained a cautious distance from the campers. Since this video's release, viewers have speculated it might be one of Flassie's mythical woodland beings, with some even suggesting an extraterrestrial origin. But what's your take on this? Share your thoughts thoughts in the comments. Evil Encased Even if you're familiar with the spine-chilling movie The Conjuring, you might be taken aback to learn about its true origins. The film's sinister Annabelle doll is more than just a piece of Hollywood fiction. She has a real-life counterpart steeped in a haunting legacy. Originating from the 1970s, the actual Annabelle doll isn't the porcelain menace portrayed in the movies. Instead, she is a seemingly innocuous Raggedy Ann doll. Gifted to a student nursed by her loving mother as a cherished second-hand present, the doll soon became a source of unrelenting terror. Disturbingly, the nurse and her roommate started witnessing the doll shifting positions, often finding it in rooms they hadn't left it in. When the doll's actions intensified, even leaving cryptic notes and messages, the duo began to suspect this wasn't mere child's play. Their worst fears manifested when, in an inexplicable event, they found the doll's hands smeared with blood, seemingly oozing out from the doll itself. Matters took a turn for the worst when a close friend experienced an unseen attack after mocking the doll's supernatural claims. Recognising the gravity of the situation and fearing for their safety, they sought the expertise of renowned demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren. After a series of investigations, the Warrens determined that the doll was manipulated by a malevolent spirit, not the spirit of a child as was previously believed. To protect the world from Annabelle's malevolent force, the Warrens took her into their care. They secured her within a sanctified glass cabinet, shielded by the powerful emblem of a cross, ensuring her containment in their occult museum. Over the years, she's drawn visitors and skeptics alike, all curious about the legend of Annabelle. However, a recent need to move her to a new location demanded extreme caution and ritual. I'm gonna open up the case. You're gonna quickly go in. I mean quick. Grab it and put it in. And just close it up fast. Close it up quick. That's good, Dan. That's good. That's alright. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Let me see your hands again. And, uh, okay. And now she's transferred. One more time. Okay. Now she's transferred over. Yeah, we're going to keep her in there temporarily. One priest carefully opens the case while his counterpart swiftly transfers Annabelle into her new sanctified enclosure. The rapidity of their actions, the sealing of both cases, and the self-blessings paint a vivid picture of the dread she instills. Most telling is the priest's immediate cleansing with holy water after his brief contact with the doll. 
Is this elaborate process a testament to the true power of Annabelle, or simply a precaution born out of old age superstitions? Let me know your thoughts on this. Whispers in the Woods Escaping the city's hustle and bustle, many seek tranquility in the countryside. But there's an unsettling downside to such serene seclusion. When things take a sinister turn, help might be miles away. In October 2006, a YouTube user by the name Paul Sparrow found himself lured into the eerie woods adjacent to his home. Armed only with a borrowed night shot camera, he hoped to capture footage of a rumoured apparition. What he ended up recording is truly strange. Did you catch it? Caught on camera, a mysterious ghostly apparition moves right in front of the camera. Paul sees it, but when he searches the area, he finds absolutely nobody. Despite being uploaded over 16 years ago, Paul's eerie capture continues to send shivers down the spines of viewers. The majority are convinced that he managed to film the real deal, a real ghost caught on camera. Even Paul himself says that this is quote, a spooky woodland ghost. But what's your verdict? A real ghost sighting? or just a trick of the light. I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments below. The Intruder This next creepy video was uploaded by a man who was startled by eerie noises coming from his bedroom. Alone in his house, he initially suspected an intruder. Gathering courage, he approached the room with his phone camera, hoping to provide evidence for the police. But what he ended up capturing was far more from anything a simple police report could explain. When the person recording flicks the light on, someone or something can be seen. That is not quite human. So just who or what is it? Viewers of this video believe this man's home is haunted and that whatever this is, is a quote, shadow bigger. But what do you think this is? Let me know. An unsettling encounter. Many daredevils seek out haunted locations, but this next adventurer might have bitten off more than he could chew. YouTube explorer Omega decided to embark on a solo camping trip through New Zealand's eeriest site, its oldest abandoned train tunnel. A relic from 1893, the railway was meant to connect communities but fell victim to financial mishaps. Despite its potential, by the 1950s, all hopes were dismantled, leaving the tunnel a forgotten relic of history. But its dark corridors came to life once more when recently it became part of a cycling route. Armed with little more than his camera and his loyal dog Max for company, Omega sought to uncover the mysteries of this long abandoned tunnel. What you're about to see is their chilling experience. Let's go back in. Here it is. Woo! Max! Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, damn tripod. <laughs> I hear some sort of tune out of Max! Come here! Come here! <laughs> Max. 
Who's that? Who's that, Max? What the actual? Can you guys, can you guys hear that? Oh. Max, where is it? I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, but there's something. What is that? Ugh. Hello? What is that? Max, what is that? Hello? Is there somebody here? That's just creepy as... What the hell? Is anyone here? What is that? Deep within the tunnel, a chilling melody fills the air. Omega and Max follow the sound, curious to find its source. They stumble upon a child's toy, eerily playing Happy Birthday, but who placed it there in such a desolate spot? Omega calls out, hello, but gets no reply. Then, as he pans the camera round, his torchlight reveals something that made his blood turn cold. A creepy, humanoid figure can be seen standing motionless, peering out from one of the side tunnels, just waiting and watching Omega and Max from the shadows. Omega and Max then flee in absolute fear. After witnessing the eerie presence in the shadows of the tunnel, Omega's viewers were left both bewildered and unsettled. The haunting image of that lurking figure has sparked countless speculations. While Omega managed to safely leave the tunnel's grasp, the question remains, who or what is this? And what were their or its intentions? Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this one. Found footage, Juwon House. In the heart of Japan, there lies a house shrouded in whispers and shadows. It's the real life setting for the haunting tale of Juwon, or the grudge to Western audiences. Legend tells of a spirit, consumed by rage and sorrow, that lurks within, waiting to curse anyone bold enough to step through its doors. Most steer clear of the Juon house, fearing its grim reputation, yet a man braved its eerie halls, night vision camera in hand, determined to uncover the truth behind the law. Shockingly, after this daring exploration, the man vanished without a trace. What we have now is the chilling footage discovered on an abandoned memory card and uploaded to the YouTube account JPH88. Brace yourself to witness the last moments of this man's harrowing journey.
While the man's investigating upstairs, the door to the room he's in suddenly slams shut behind him. The man's stunned and it takes him a few moments to find the courage to open the door. When he finally does, he looks out into the hallway but can't see anything. However, all of a sudden, the head of someone or something with long dark hair can be seen slowly climbing up the stairs. It looks at him and the camera glitches. The man is terrified and takes cover behind the wall. After a short while, he cautiously approaches the door. At first, it looks like nobody's there, but then a figure with long dark hair and a white dress, eerily reminiscent of the grudge, appears and creepily moves towards the man and then attacks him. The aftermath is unclear, but many speculate that the vengeful spirit of the Juon got to him. For a short while, the man lies there, with his night vision camera tilted towards the door, and what he captured is nothing short of creepy. A figure with long dark hair can be seen creepily peeking its head around the door, watching the man as he's laying there. Paralyzed and unable to move, the man can only be heard whimpering as the figure horrifyingly peeks in. This creepy video has terrified YouTube viewers ever since it was uploaded to the account JPH88, with many agreeing with user Jacob Duran8997 that this gives me chills like you wouldn't believe. I normally don't get them with videos like this, so that usually means there is some kind of truth behind it. The noises the entity was making, her eyes glowing in night vision, and the weird ah ah noise the cameraman was making, looks and sounds all too real to be fabricated. But what do you think? Did this man encounter the notorious grudge spirit inside the infamous Juon house? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.